way do people suppose that skin color is like my only criteria? Of course, there are loads and loads of very good looking white people on this earth, but do they have what I am looking for in a relationship just because they're white? Certainly not. Well, then I could just go and grab the next best white guy on the street, couldn't I? Well, a girl's life is not that easy. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Culture Lab and today I'm going to address a very delicate topic or a question that I got asked in one of my videos uh, which was or which is why are you not with a white man but with a brown man even though there's so many good looking white men and I'm like why do people suppose that skin color is like my only criteria? Well, then I could just go and grab the next best white guy on the street, couldn't I? Well, a girl's life is not that easy. There are so many criteria that are important and skin color is definitely not one of them. Okay, I do get it. I'm super white. In the morning, I look basically like a pale corpse. So. I thought I'd need somebody to balance out my pale ghostiness. Oh, ghosty paleness. No, jokes aside. I am with my Indian boyfriend because he is the greatest guy I've ever met. Full stop. First of all, I would like to emphasize that I do not really get whether the skin color comes, comes into play because what we need for a successful relationship does not depend on the skin color. Of course, there are loads and loads of very good looking people on this earth or white people on this earth, but do they have what I am looking for in a relationship just because they're white? Certainly not. My criteria are way harder to me. Why my Indian boyfriend is my boyfriend now is because He's super respectful. I have never felt more respected by any man than by my Indian boyfriend. Another big point um, why I am with my Indian boyfriend and not with anybody else is that we have similar values, a lot of similar values, and that really matters because the way he sees the world, uh, his sense of justice, his integrity is something that is super important to me. And you, I believe truly that you have to be similar in your values to, to make it work long time. Because like, if you're very different, uh, that only creates attraction for a limited period of time. And yeah, um, I feel he's more similar to me in terms of um, values, mindset and beliefs and goals in life than any of the guys I've met before, even though they were from my own country, culture and language. Also, he's a man of equality, so he fosters strength in women and he doesn't see strong women as kind of a threat. He's so self-confident and such a mature character that he can deal with strength in other people. So I know that a lot of guys, um, also here especially, are not seeking for a relationship on eye level. Um, and this is what I absolutely love about him because we both need somebody really on eye level to meet our intellectual needs in conversation and about um, all the aspects of the world that we're interested in. And also it is very telling about a man's self-confidence if he can handle somebody on eye level. This is a really healthy thing um, because then you can work more as a team because there is like no, no trying to, to gain the upper hand or anything. You can be strong and weak. Um, at, um, at some point in time you're stronger and some points of time you're weaker. And this is really um, what creates a strong bond as a team. Then another thing that I really, really value is that I can talk about anything with him. I mean, um, he has such a wide or broad interest in the world, everything from history, politics, and not only like this, like two topics he's a he's a murder one more thing he's like super super reliable i can really 100 percent rely on him and also i trust him without any second thoughts so when i first saw his face the first thing i was thinking was this is a face to trust and this is how i feel um till today 
and also he has that wonderful caring attitude um, and um, is not afraid of showing his affection because he isn't afraid that showing affection or uh, wanting to spend time with the partner makes him look unmanly or needy or anything and I like this kind of um, self-confidence and also what I have seen or I was told that I have repeatedly um, experienced with Indian guys is that they have a very different attitudes uh, towards relationships than like guys in the West or let's say uh, German guys when it comes to um, the age group 25 plus because here it's like I see a lot of relationships ending after people cross 25 because there's kind of a quarter life crisis starting it's like then people both guys and girls are like wow is that it for my life when they're in a relationship is that already the part of my life was that all kind of and then they often start panicking and then break up because um, now it's getting kind of serious and they're not sure whether they really want to continue on this path because they're afraid of missing out on something and often relationship is seen as something restricting so even here um, before somebody gets married like all of the guy friends of the groom will come and say like, hey let's go out and party let's enjoy your last evenings and freedom before you will be chained for life and even though they speak in jest there is also a core of truth in it because sometimes here people see or there is a touch of seeing relationship as something that restricts you like you cannot do your hobbies and to the same extent that you used to or see your friends and everything and I find this mindset really sad and I haven't heard um, of anything like that from Indian guys rather the opposite like um, they more focus on what they gain through a relationship or what joy brings um, to their life and how it enriches their life um, so um, Please also note that I do not want to generalize. There are a lot of people here also that I know that see relationship as something truly valuable for their life. Um, also, talking about relationship, let's also not forget that you can also be happy being single. And let nobody tell you that you cannot be happy when you're not in a relationship. It's not true. Only start a relationship when you're really convinced of it. It should truly make you happy and you should feel accepted and wholesome in a relationship and um, don't let yourself be pressured to be in one neither by friends family or society okay that being said you can find the one you really click with or who's really um, a match for you even though they're from a completely different part of the world what matters is similar values and respect and care and if you find that in a person of another skin color of another race ethnicity or nationality that that's great isn't it so looks skin color and all of this superficial aspects should not matter they are not a source of a sustainably happy relationship. I think it's so important who that other person really is. If he or she supports you, then it doesn't matter um, whether they are red, blue or star-shaped. Just enjoy your happiness. Let nobody um, discourage you from that. Also for me, it's absolutely unimportant what he earns. I don't freaking care as long as I feel good with him. And yeah, Anything you would like to add, write in the comments below. Tell us your story, let us know about your experiences and let's build a community um, where we can support each other, connect and share. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up so that my content also gets recommended to people who are interested in these kinds of topics. Um, I hope I was able to raise awareness um, because I think a lot of people that are in interracial or intercultural relationships face similar questions. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. I'm going to do a satirical Indian boyfriend, German boyfriend comparison. I hope you're going to like that. And so far, stay safe guys and see you. And don't forget, it's this and this that matters.